Hey, what's up guys, it's Seaworks. I'm here today to show you the quickest and easiest way to paint a car in iRacing. You know, look, you may be new to iRacing, you may be a seasoned vet. This is the quickest and easiest way to learn how to do it. Add your own logos, add your own design, your own flair to your cars. Everybody enjoys having a car that looks exactly the way they want it with the colors, the logos, etc. So I'm going to be starting completely from scratch here just to show you guys how easy it is. First things first, you're going to want to go to my content. You're going to want to go to cars. Find the car you want to paint. I'm just going to pick this Aston Martin DBR9 GT1. You're going to go to paint car. And you're going to click download template. So directly download the car template. And we'll open that up. And you can use the software of your choice, GIMP, or something similar to Photoshop. Uh, I personally use Photoshop. I'm going to let this bad boy open up. Okay, so here's your template. Got your custom spec map, which we're not going to look into today. That's a little more advanced. You got your paintable area, your wireframe, your sponsor blocks, which show you where to put all your logos or at least the general vicinity. And then if you scroll down here, there's this category or this group that's labeled as car patterns. You open that up. It's got all these kind of pre-designed liveries. Obviously, the colors probably aren't what you want, um, but it's got the general design and you can edit the colors however you want it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pick one um, and I'll meet you guys up when I find one. Okay, so I picked this one. It's nice and simple, you know, nothing fancy, but obviously you're gonna wanna change the colors, right? So you're gonna wanna select the layer. You're gonna wanna go to select color range, click the plus icon, select the color, select okay. Okay, so now it's selected all of the green colors that you want to replace within this pattern. I'm gonna drag this up to the top here. I'm gonna make a new layer. Now, there's a lot more selected than I really wanted, so I'm gonna just go ahead and adjust that real quick. Okay, so now I have just the lime green, neon green color selected, okay? And until you really figure out what's what on these templates, it's kind of hard to determine you know what part of the car you want which color so it's just some trial and error and i'm going to show you how you can easily take a peek at your designs and update it as you go that way you're not designing an entire car and then oh wait this looks terrible and then now you have to go all the way back and um you know readjust and take out separate things that you don't want okay so i want to change this green to something else i want to i want to put a gradient uh, make one color fade into another. Um, so I'm going to go to my new layer here. I'm going to just right click, fill, and just pick a color. I'm just going to make it something crazy. I'm going to just make it pink. Okay, so now we have pink there, right? You can easily change this to whatever you want by going to blending options, gradient overlay. I'm just going to use this. This is kind of the colors that I use on most of my cars. I'm just gonna call that good so now you can see it went from green to being you know like a purple blue gradient now I'm, I want to change this red something else well here's the good part you just created a new layer specifically covering that what was green I'm gonna make it a dark gray right there okay so okay now we got a black car we have our purple to blue gradient um, now we want to add some logos. Find whatever logos you want online, preferably in, in a PNG format, so they're transparent in the background. So say I want to add my SeaWorks icon to the side of the car. I'm going to drag it in here, or you can copy it and paste it, however you want to do it. You're going to make sure it's obviously layered correctly and it's in front of the pattern. You're going to size it up. Okay, now it's on the side of my car. Okay, say now you've got the design you want, you got the colors you want, you got the logos you want. If you look over here where it says turn off before exporting TGA, you're gonna wanna turn that off. It removes the mask and then you're gonna wanna go up here to file, save a copy. You're gonna wanna go to your documents, 
your eye racing paint you're gonna want to find the car folder for me in this case it's the aston martin dbr9 you're gonna want to select carga and then if you go back into the iRacing UI, this window should still be up. You hover over this, it'll tell you exactly what to name the file. Okay, so for me, it's car underscore 325622. So I'm gonna name that. Twenty-four bits per pixel. Okay, now you can see it automatically updates it in the UI. Okay, so that's what we just made. We got the logo on the side. We got the purple to blue fade. We got the black car. Now say we want to upload it to Trading Paints to where everybody else can see what your car looks like. Okay, because right now only you can see this. It's only on your computer. Nobody else has access to that file that you just saved into your iRacing Paints folder. So you're obviously going to go to tradingpaints.com. You want to go to upload, select the paint file, find it in your documents. You're going to want to open that up and you can either upload it to the showroom so everybody can use it or just for you where only you can use it, but everybody else can see it. I'm going to select the vehicle, car number type. This is a little more advanced, so we're just gonna do the SIM stamp number, upload to my paints. Bam, as you can see, it's on trading paints. Um, and now everybody can see your shiny new car livery that's super fancy and not basic and cringe. Anyways, that's the quickest, easiest way to paint a car in iRacing. Hope I helped some of you. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more little tips and tricks. Trying to get better at making this type of content, so let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys.